Unlocking the mystery of maritime boundaries. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that connects geography, international law, and the vast oceans that cover our planet. We're talking about maritime boundaries. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just curious about how countries manage their shared water borders, this video is for you. So, let's unravel the mystery of maritime boundaries together and understand why they're so crucial in the global context. Maritime boundaries are invisible lines that delineate the territorial waters, exclusive economic zones, EEZs, and continental shelves of different countries. Imagine drawing a line in the water that separates one country's maritime area from another. These boundaries are crucial for establishing national jurisdiction over maritime resources, including fish, oil, and gas deposits. Unlike land borders, which are often marked by physical barriers like fences or walls, maritime boundaries are challenging to visualize and require precise geographical and legal definitions. They are established through international agreements, treaties, and rulings by international courts. To better understand maritime boundaries, it's essential to know about the different maritime zones recognized by international law. Territorial Sea – This extends up to 12 nautical miles from a country's coastline. Within this zone, the country has full sovereignty, much like its land territory. Contiguous Zone – Extending up to 24 nautical miles from the coastline, this area allows a country to enforce laws related to customs, immigration, and pollution. Exclusive Economic Zone EEZ, stretching up to 200 nautical miles from the coastline, the EEZ gives a country exclusive rights to exploit marine resources, including fishing, mining, and drilling. Continental Shelf this can extend beyond the EEZ and covers the seabed and subsoil of the submarine areas. The rights here are primarily for the exploitation of mineral and energy resources. Maritime boundaries are vital for several reasons. Resource management, they help in the sustainable management and conservation of marine resources, ensuring that countries can benefit from their maritime wealth without overexploitation. Security and protection. By defining maritime borders, countries can better secure their territories from illegal activities such as smuggling, piracy, and unauthorized fishing. International relations. Clear maritime boundaries prevent disputes between countries over marine resources and territorial claims promoting peaceful coexistence and cooperation in international waters. Economic development. Maritime boundaries enable countries to exploit their marine resources, contributing significantly to their economies through industries such as fishing, oil, and gas production. Understanding maritime boundaries is key to appreciating how countries interact with each other and the ocean. These invisible lines are not just about territory. They're about managing and protecting the world's vast marine resources for present and future generations. We hope this video has shed some light on the importance and complexity of maritime boundaries. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting discussions. See you in the next video.